What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. Let's just not even skip a beat here. Yeah. You know, I know everyone wants us to talk about the drama but you know with all this focus we got a lot of people listening right now and i think we should take this opportunity to put attention on something that really matters which is okay china is using and producing a, a gas that destroys the ozone layer hmm and um thing is it that opening the ozone layer is actually turning rust bisexual oh okay and it's turning other straight hetero men bisexual. Okay. The gamma rays actually are making men so horny that they're just they're opening grinder accounts. Huh. They can't hold back. Cola Brandt actually next up as well. <laughs> <laughs> the last person to ever try anything remotely gay would be him. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's Cola Brandt is the straightest dude on the planet. Yeah, but if China, even like the straightest, if most China, straight dudes, like bi, like you know, like biker dudes. Yeah, they're not as straight as like a really, really religious dude like yeah. him. Yeah, no, 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 no. Here are the straightest dudes on earth: hyper religious men and New York gangsters. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like a like a New York gangster would say something like "sus," mm -hmm. but it's not even on his radar that he could sound "sus." Because he would never, ever think to do something sus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he, he'd run up on you and be like, I'm going to squeeze the juice out you, bruh. And you're like, what? <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> what you say? I'm going oh, to oh, 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 squeeze the juice out you, son. I'm going to juice you like an orange. <laughs> I'm going to juice you, son, with two hands. I'm gonna put my two hands around you and juice you, bruh. I'm gonna Keep talking you. that talk. I'm gonna juice you, man. I'm two hands. I'm gonna ring you out. Two hands wrapped around you, squeezing the juice out you, <laughs> nice and just like a pepper grinder. <laughs> Are you finna guck me? I'm gonna do you like a pepper grinder, son. I'm gonna grab just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> off to the races today yeah jesus christ you might have to talk directly on it like you see how i'm like yeah what like you might have to i don't know it's weirdly it's a little bit echoey now or something with the compression maybe i just have to get used to it yeah no i mean it's, i think it sounds fine i might have to turn you up and post anyway um no the thing is yeah because they'll they'll they're they're they don't want to be gay yeah because it's like a, it's like a, you know, like, f like growing up, I guess it's frowned upon or whatever. Right. Right. In their like community, yeah. community. Right. Yeah. But like someone like Cole Brandt is like, if I do anything gay, I'll, I'll burn in hell for eternity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get tortured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like Cole Brandt. <laughs> someone got to have some sweet dick to make you want to <laughs> get lit on fire. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm exactly, dude. I'm saying maybe that. <laughs> what? I'm just imagining a fucking <laughs> like. Okay, there's this scene from fucking Tom and Jerry, where, um, I forget which one's the Jerry's the mouse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jer yeah. Jerry's running around, and there's a there's a female. Uh, cat she's okay. protecting Jerry okay because Tom keeps trying to get him and then the female holds Jerry to her to be like stay away from him and she kisses him she goes and her eyes like they start like radiating like with like, kind of like psychedelic colors <laughs> okay because she got a taste of him <laughs> and then she's like mm -hmm. and she starts kissing him more she's like mwah, 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 mwah. and Jerry's like <laughs> oh shit this bitch is gonna eat me so he like <laughs> slips out and he runs away and it's Tom and the girl cat chasing Jerry around so it's like she totally did a 180 okay. I feel like that was what would happen to Cola Brand god forbid he ever put a dick near his mouth uh, no 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 that's 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 the fucking girl girl to find husbands oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm like, sorry. I feel bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm seeing stars, dude. That's how hard I laugh. Dude, no way. Because he, he went to the gay conversion camp. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, cause that, that shit definitely... No, Yeah, because that totally worked. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, none of us could could ever get the feel that he might be a little... It sucks because fucking... Sweet. Ev- dude, every... You go on one of their videos <sighs> with their husbands. Yeah. Every comment is, yo, they're definitely gay. Yeah. No, it's what do you up. think that? What do you think that's like for the... F- for the girls reading that shit, and he, yeah, you know what I'm saying, I, bro. I've I, I I look at the whole scenario. I'm like, you got a man on the left who is just like, just trying to come, just suppress it all. Yeah, suppress. Uh, he's dying inside, mm-hmm. and then she's on the right trying to pretend like I'm serving God. And you know, she knows she's. That's got to fuck with you. Oh yeah, it has to fuck with you. Yeah, like. <laughs> Why? Why? Just cut him loose. Let him go. Yeah, just I, fucking. Yeah, I know. It's find, sad. Find man. your cola brand. It's sad. Find your cola brand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I've never kissed a penis. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> you could light on fire for that. <laughs> fucking be yourself. That's that's the uh, <clears throat> yeah. Be you. That's be the you. lesson here, man. That's the lesson here. Yeah. Hey, those guys. Those those dudes just need to be gay. Yeah. Yeah. Let them be gay. Yeah. Let him be gay. Get bro. out there. Yeah, do your thing, man. Suck some dick. <laughs> I'm just, what the fuck? You saw that dude who was like the the creator or something. He was like some orig- like important person in the, in terms of the concept of gay conversion therapy. He came out as gay. Did he really? Yeah. And, he was and, like, and now what, he's just gay? Yeah, now he's gay. He's and he's like not gay. religious anymore? I, I don't know if, you, I mean, you can be gay and religious, but I don't. Not that. I mean, if you're opening up conversion, that means like you. you <clears throat> no, not to the degree to you that you was. A sin. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I think there's like, I think there's debate about that in the Bible as well. Is there? I mean, like, I think there's like some portion of the Bible they say a man will not lay next to another man, but I don't know if that's true. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not an expert on. Yeah, me neither. Religious folk. The thro- throw the info in the comments that we're completely butchering right yeah now. toss some info in the comments yeah just give us a little chuck us some chuck us some give us a little bible study. god info yeah give us a little bible but yeah so <clears throat> i mean he might still go to church but you know now, he, now he's an openly gay man hmm. so i'm like bro if the kingpin is saying yeah i'm gay what is the even that camp yeah all right you you're not gonna do it anymore right yeah <laughs> what are you thinking about right now um dicks no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spray bottle. Bad. It's just like, it's just like sort of annoying. Yeah. Stop. I'll, stop, I'll, dude. Stop. <laughs> okay, fine. Thinking about <laughs> corn dogs. There no, we go. Too close. <laughs> All right. A Corvette? Still kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not till you're 50. I'm thinking about boobs. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, that's a straight man if I'd ever seen one. And I would know, because as the squirt bottle guy, I know. Squirt bottle? Because I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> All right, should we, should we talk about James Charles? <laughs> yeah, okay, so here, I want to, like, can't believe- we might as well, we might as well just, like, everyone else, just be, let this be the internet drama hour. Talk about it. Yeah, I can't believe James because, Charles ran up on you and, and beat you up like that. Dog. Yeah, he did. He came through with his new palette and yeah. gave you the raccoon eyes. Just yeah. Poof, yeah. dusted yeah, you yeah, up. Yeah, 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 it was a It was a drive-by glamming. Yeah, beat your ass, dog. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> imagine, beat you ima- beautiful. Imagine that shit, man. <laughs> James Charles runs up with like his bodyguards, and they hold me down, and he just makes me look super glammed up and then <laughs> runs away. <laughs> and then I just got to walk around glowing all day. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't do that to me. Yeah, dude, don't do that. Definitely don't hold me down and make me beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't. I can't. Um, <clears throat> yo, so what? What is the? We, I guess we'll talk about. Um, I guess we'll talk about the the my shit. Yeah, we'll y- talk well, about James Charles and then we'll talk about Tifu. Sure. You know what's crazy though, is so you know the Coachella Ferris wheel. Yeah, it was actually Jake Paul blowing James Charles in the <laughs> in the fair. <laughs> no, wow, like, oh, like, that's fucked up. That's crazy. <laughs> Just friend of sick ass rumor. <laughs> Yo, didn't you give James Charles? No, dude. 
I definitely did. Mm, I don't know. I have. I got the receipts. I don't. I don't know, man. You see this video? Kind of looks like your hair. <laughs> it kind of looks like your hair. <laughs> did you see the edit of that shit? Which <laughs> dude getting dome in the Coachella Ferris wheel? I didn't see it. No. It's like an EDM drop. It's like dun, 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 dun. like it has like that sound right as the dude pulls his head off the dude's <laughs> dick. It's so fucking... Wait, wasn't it James Charles in there? Was, no, no, isn't that, that was him? no, that was a rumor. Oh, okay, you okay. I thought that video. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> That'd be bold as fuck. Yeah, seven million followers. You're like, I'm gonna dome this guy. For so everyone, yeah, see. I'm yeah, fuck. I don't give a shit, dude. Maybelline, speak to, speak to my publicist, dude. Because <laughs> I'm going in for this. You got some against oral sex? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Oh, what year? What year is this? Oh, somebody doesn't like blowjobs. Yeah. Oh, somebody's a virgin. <laughs> the head of Maybelline marketing. <laughs> I I love blowjobs. Oh, are you sure? I love blowjobs. You seem pretty grossed out by this one. No, no, not at all. I'm oh, big, you sure? Big fan of BJ's. Yeah, yeah. Get, get them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think you get BJ's, dude. <laughs> I get I get blown. <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> Let me call your wife right I now. I know what it feels like. Okay. Let me call your wife right now. Feels like a like a water like a waterfall. <laughs> God damn it! I've been um, um, drinking too much ketamine. All right, yeah. So, yeah, dude. I mean, you. We already. What is there even really to say? Well, I want to know what the fuck happened. <coughs> like the only, the only. So, like now where we left it, you told me all about the fuck, the the shit that went down. James Charles. We talked about if he's ever going to recover. All that shit. Yeah. And he already in did. the next five days, he already did it totally reversed what the fuck happened i don't know he posted something with receipts and now tati's taking time off and she'll come back and she says his video has a bunch of lies to be honest 45 minutes of just her video was already enough for me yeah i think my brain capacity maxed out that's where that's where she won like my brain capacity has no more like available room yeah you're like yeah, so you're like short term, short short term memory store. Just yeah. like, <clears throat> yeah. Now it's like, um, you know, last in, first out, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's popping off. Yeah, you memories. wouldn't know. It's not like it's you're a, a software. Thing. You were yeah, just yeah. a little one, just a little back end engineer. You were just a small, just back-end a little engineer. mousy little bitch boy. Just a little tiny. Oh, oh, you building a table over there? Oh yeah. Are you building a little SQL table over there? Oh, little Mongo DB. You little little, little you little database. Slut. Uh, oh, you little, oh, you little data scientist. <laughs> you slutty little data scientist, aren't you? <laughs> you love dropping tables, don't you? When you're not supposed to. Cute little back end bitch boy. Mm. <laughs> he over there, mm, just coding away all oh, ones and zeros. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, props to him for making um, a back end developer sound like it's fucking moving boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. That had to have been the most insulting part about that whole video. Like, even even the part where he he called me not a real man. Yeah, that was whatever. That part I was like pretty like I was like a little bit insulted by. But like when he <clears throat> when he said a little back end developer, I was like, oh, you bitch, dude, you fucking bitch, for <laughs> you all. fucking bitch. Who are you? You're a goddamn high school dropout, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I had to study for fucking. Eight goddamn years to have that <clears throat> career. Yeah. Work my ass off for that shit. It's a great fucking career. And technically, he was a senior iOS developer, not the same as a back end developer. Also, what I want to do, let's let's get two things right. First of all, he's trying to downplay full screen. It's just some creator network. No motherfucker. It's like a three armed, like it's a massive corporation. It's yeah. owned by fucking Warner Brothers, dude. <laughs> It was sold to AT&T, which is then passed off to Warner Brothers. Yeah. Okay? That's one. Two, full screen, like, I didn't even know this until I worked there. Their whole, like, corporate sales branch. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers lock up. Anyway, we don't have to get into that. Mm-hmm. The other thing I want to get into is, bruh, <clears throat> is back-end developers that gave your dumbass a platform to be somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the software engineers who built your whole shit. Yeah, I know. How are you going to shit on software engineers? They gave you the thing that it's, makes you you. It's so true. You wouldn't be anywhere. You would be you'd be your fu- you'd just be some annoying dude in fucking Ohio still if the if like the internet wasn't as powerful as it was. You'd yeah. just be a dude there being annoying somewhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> every you owe it to every software engineer on the fucking earth for who you are, motherfucker. So true. <clears throat> so so goddamn true. It, that was the funniest part to me. I'm like, how are you just gonna shit on the <laughs> the funny the funniest part is just how <clears throat> god awful that whole video was. Yeah. How do you f- how do you fuck something up like that that bad? I don't like and, and the the most the most like ironic part about the whole thing is that he's like he's like trying to give me a taste of my own medicine <laughs> by making the video like the same style that we do. Yeah. But like he's refuting everything <clears throat> he's saying in the video by doing that. Yeah. How does he not understand that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, how does he not understand that? Like, I'm gonna sit down and cyber bully this dude <laughs> about how he's a cyber bully. It makes no fucking sense. It's like, no, dude, this removes <clears throat> all of your credibility because you're yeah. you're doing what you're what you are telling people not to do in the video. Oh, I also like how he compared you to his brother, which I don't even have to articulate as to why that's a. What do you mean? What did he say? <laughs> when he's like. He needs to face some backlash. So, you know, like my brother went through a controversy. Yeah, and right. I was like, uh, tape stop. Yeah. Ain't nobody ever died on our podcast, son. Or video, son. I love the way and I love the way that he talked about it. Like it's just like a like a thing. Like yeah, it's just a, you just gotta go through a couple of those. Yeah. You know, a couple notches on your belt, a couple yeah. of dead guys that you film. Yeah. Once you get through that stuff, you're in the clear. You're a better person. No, it's just like you're in the... No, not even that. It's just yeah. like you're in the clear. You just got to do that. You don't have to change true. as a person. That's you true. just got to go through it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you got to like learn or pretend to learn, whatever. Yeah. But then like once you're through it, you're good. You can <laughs> keep mean? You can keep fucking, you know, burning cars. Oh and, my God, dude. <clears throat> I, was, I was chuckling. Well, I, I honestly... All right. I think it's one of two things. <clears throat> one is he had no fucking clue who you were. And Jeff hit him up. And then he goes, Cody, who? <laughs> Which was probably the funniest part of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's when he was on top, mm-hmm. is when he goes, Cody, who? Mm-hmm. Then he sees you're talking shit, and he goes, like his eyes get red. But he didn't really like <clears throat> process what any of what you've said. He's like, almost, I'm going to smoke this dude. Because like- he, No, he's seen, he, back when fucking we did Keep Your Dick Fat. Did he, he watch it? Yes. I talked to some kids that lived in the Team 10 house and they were oh, like, oh right. yeah, yeah, we, we all were watched that, the videos. We were at yeah. that niche party and, and yeah. Yeah, no, he knows. He's seen all, that's true. He's so, seen uh, all the videos gone. that we've so done he, know, he definitely knows who we are. Yeah. Um, or at least, definitely you. But yeah, so I guess that next is that. I, it just doesn't seem like he thought through any of what he was going to say. And if he did, that's fucking sad. Mm-hmm. If that was him being prepared, oof. It was, I mean, it, could, it couldn't have been. I don't think I don't think I don't think there was a single sentence like a like a full sentence in that whole video. No, like it really. No, (laughs) it that I was like chuckling. I was like, holy shit, this is one of the situations where you were like, all right, form an opinion. Yeah, yeah. you can't form an opinion in 17 minutes. I'm gonna blow your brains out. Uh, uh, Animosity and um, you know um, you know spreading um, negativity. And the mm, youth I'm gonna need a little more are that. so not animosity. Animos. What's the present form of animo- animosity? Animosis. And um, you know, it's negative. And Ten. I don't actually support the spreading of Nine. thoughts and uh, thought processes and ideas that share animosity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the the whole like it just uh, the fuck it's been a weird fucking week. Yeah, I'm sure it's been a bizarre week. Like yeah. just from z- going from zero to like then going on the show yeah. and coming and talking about it on the podcast afterwards, just being like that sucked. Yeah, and then the what happened afterwards? Yeah, like we were like drinking Saturday night and uh, we were at Cabo Cantina <laughs> and uh, so had a margarita and then we got back home and was just like gonna go to bed did your sponsor know you had a margarita and uh i, I texted my sponsor okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three days sober so um <clears throat> sam's your sponsor <laughs> he's like good job dude, dude it's fine hey, dude it's fine <laughs> you can have another it's not a big deal <laughs> um and then I get home and I all of a sudden start getting tweets of being like, Jake posted a video, Jake posted a video. And I'm like, what the, f- what, what? Yeah. Oh, he must have posted his vlog. And I go on and, and it's just so shocked to see like the whole thing was about me. Like, yeah. I don't think he ever really does that. Nah, not and that so, I've seen. Yeah. And so we watch it and, I, and I'm like, I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch this because I haven't seen the footage yet. I know it's going to be fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. And we turn it on and start watching and just like, this is, 
this is awesome. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. The whole thing was so entertaining. 17 yeah. minutes was just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. And then it's just been, it's just been crazy. Fucking like, every, like a bunch of people I follow or are subscribed to did a video about it. Yeah. Um, just cool to see all like everyone tweeting about it and everything. And yeah. fucking yesterday I gained 90,000 subs <laughs> just probably from like PewDiePie's video and shit like that. Yeah. So Sick. It, I mean like, it, yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's been cool. Like, it's like worked yeah. out pretty well for me, but it's like, <clears throat> it's I never thought I'd be in like a drama. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, that said, uh, to all the new Patreoners who came here just to hound us for a That's Cringe, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, this, this is Cody it. has already said, this is it right here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the whole thing was just goofy. I just didn't seem like, <clears throat> I don't even in a way I don't even really think he thought it would go the way it did I think he thought he was just gonna say that you know maybe Ethan or somebody calls him a dummy and he just he just wave it off <clears throat> and then it like looks like I don't know it's like he's re the only phrase that comes to mind is like he's remarketing to like his existing audience <laughs> right like yeah a, totally like he like is he's done this type of shit before yeah you know where he like he, he, he just he just wants to put a little life in his channel and so he's getting into it with somebody <laughs> you know um but he'd probably realize like ah uh, may, maybe boxing isn't necessarily the way to go right <laughs> like you can't box everyone that has a has a opinion about him mm -hmm. but um here's what i think i think that he got the text from jeff mm -hmm. he sees the drama going yeah. on right now and he says oh this is perfect like yeah. I, I can kind of capitalize off the the whole internet people are really tied up in this shit right now they want to see drama so i'm gonna confront him because it's something i've wanted to do for a little bit yep i'll make a video about it and so that's as far as he thought he did it and <clears throat> then i think what happened is his editor put together that video and then and then was like hey he, he clearly doesn't fucking upload the videos to his channel and shit like that. That's not him doing that. It's, it's someone else, right? Yeah. That's why, like, the description is, like, his face was so priceless. Like, that wasn't Jake Paul sitting down writing that. Right, right. It's whoever the fuck. It's his editor or something right. like that. So his editor probably sent him a cut, and he's, like, in his car or some shit, and he watched it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Go post it. Yeah. I can't imagine if he actually sat down and watched that video that he, he'd be like, yeah, this is, like, it was just edited in such a way that, like, you yeah. think he would have been like, okay, find a, a little bit more... <clears throat> like hateful clips that to use in the thing like right cum powder yeah you that's the clip you're gonna fucking use yeah. me making fun of minions it doesn't make any sense yeah you really think those things are hateful yeah where is your fucking yeah what do you think hate is I know. dude the c that's insane you must you must be like every single every single time you go to the comedy store you must just be sitting there fucking angry the whole time because like that's what it is i mean i'm not you know you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> you know what i wanted to do was it's like a joke I wanted to like and this I felt like just me stoking the fires there's no point but I thought it'd be really funny if I made a video I was like you know I, I kind of agree not, and not only do I agree I think there are many people who are doing this that we need to discuss um, but we can't go for we need to go for the big fish okay so let's start with Netflix okay first up they got this guy Bill Burr okay he has three videos on Netflix <laughs> three videos talking about other people he talks about the president he talks about he talks about hillary okay he makes fun of her losing that's not nice uh -huh. okay she put in a very good effort uh -huh. that's not funny <laughs> that's not funny at all is this the message we want to be sending to people make fun of people who put in presidential campaign efforts this that's, is this is what i'm saying yeah it, it's harvesting <clears throat> animosity exactly yeah and it's the youth yeah. are growing up <clears throat> yeah. right and they're seeing this and so all of a sudden now they're it's 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 almost in like it's harvesting like negative thoughts and, and <laughs> <laughs> did I say animosity? <laughs> Next up on Netflix, this guy Joe Rogan. I don't know if you've heard of this guy. He's got two videos on here. One of them's kind of old. This one is new, and I don't know how how you have this much hate in your heart. He uses the B word, the F word. They don't even put the dolphin noise over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Just go through every comedy special ever, bro. The, <laughs> the, the, I mean, the best part is when I say 
I mean, I hate minions. The only person that likes minions is my mom. And then it clips back and he goes, he's just a ball of hatred. <laughs> I know, yeah. Dude. Make a shirt called, says ball of hatred. It, it, dude, the, that to me was like the editor didn't want to sit through all your videos. Yeah. He's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna look at the ones that say Jake Paul and try to. And I think if anyone were to like review the work, yeah. like if there was just another person in the chain that yeah. watched that video, he would have been like, dude, do a little bit more. Like this is gonna like backfire. Like do a little bit more. I was go dude. take. You can take clips out of context and make me seem shitty. Like yeah, they just 100%. didn't do it, dude. I was chuckling. The best one would have been the Skippy video. Oh, the, look at him makes fun of virgins. That's people. That's people's right. The best and one would have been fucking the, the Lele Pons video where I started off by saying she sucks. Like yeah, I'm just like too. I'm like God, she sucks ass or something like that. Which I go back and watch. And I'm like that's a little bit harsh. They could have taken that clip. Yeah, you know. <laughs> He's listening right now. Like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, next time, all they're right, gonna do the follow up. Yeah, dude. When I saw the cameraman, I was laughing because in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, Jake and his brother, they've been training boxing and <clears throat> MMA. <clears throat> this cameraman has got to be. I'm thinking of like there. There were these dudes that had like a travel vlog channel that used to come into full screen all the time, and they would walk in there like carrying their red, like they would vlog with a red, and <clears throat> they were like some like almost like uh that production company buff nerds like they were like kind of like those dudes like you know rugged camera dudes and i'm thinking like oh that's the type of dude this cameraman's gonna be because the way you described it to me i'm thinking it's like jake and a goon and they're like yeah you fucking cyber bully and i see him he's just a pissed off weenie i started fucking dying laughing yeah dude. yeah yeah that that that's who was stink eyeing me the whole time him and then for him at the end of the video I'd be like yeah dude he totally seized up in there he, to he was totally afraid. Like, he totally, like, changed his opinion. I'm like, where, son? Where do you do that? What kids, dude? Oh, my God. The whole thing is just, like, like, I, I, to, be, uh, to be candid, I think the whole thing was sad. Yeah. I watched that whole thing, and I'm like, this dude is down bad. Like, he's reaching, reaching. I know, and then for the next video to be confronting Lil Xan... But even that, I, I, I watched that because I'm like, did he do it in the same style? And it was like, you know, he was going to be in Lil Xan's music video and all that. And there's just a, like a, there's like a palpable desperation in his voice. Like, and it's, it's, I don't, I can't describe it. There's just something off. Like, like three months, three, four months ago before like the Deji boxing situation, like you see him and he'd be like really animated. Like he's pumped, like he's confident, like. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Jake Paul. It's every day, bro. Like, he's got that whole speech, and he, man. Eh. And then now, like, between the video he did on you and that little Zan video, he, he's, like, he's like weirdly apologetic yeah. in the little Zan video. He goes, okay, my goals for this year are uh, no drama, stop cyberbullying. It's like he read a ton of comments and is like, okay, I'm going to do whatever makes you guys happy. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, I totally. I think it's, like, <clears throat> what happens when there's, like, this, they're just kind of, like, well, I don't know what that there's no theme there's no like whatever like they both had their <laughs> shtick before right their shtick was daily vlogs mm -hmm. they both had their thing be a maverick uh Jake Pauler J uh, Jake Pauler it's every day bro and that's yeah. shit they repeat and it's like I'm just gonna do this every day mm -hmm. it's a routine and we're gonna grow this shit mm -hmm. now it's like what the fuck is it now Yep. They they I think they just both are in this like weird identity crisis where it's just like what I'm a podcaster Whoa. I'm a I'm a I still vlog, but it's not every day, bro. It's it's every third day. Yeah. And like sometimes it's not a vlog. Sometimes it's yeah. what, you know what I'm saying. And, and so it's just like, what? Who am I anymore? I don't know. That and like their uh, at least Jake's <clears throat> audience for sure skews like a lot younger. Yeah. And you know, and and um, I don't know how much I could say. I don't want to name names, but somebody we work with has told us that working in that demo is tough because they age really quickly, and it can even be as matter like it can just take a year or two and you'll lose like 20% of your audience. Cause like they, that's how fast kids like just evolve or like yeah. change, Yeah, you know, <clears throat> All, it, it could take like just, you know, a few kids that, like a little bit older than them to be like, you like Jake Paul, you're a fucking cornball. Mm -hmm. like, oh no, no, I don't, I don't like Jake yeah. Paul. Yeah. That type of shit. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, I definitely think, and you know, Jake to his credit as he tries to shield against that, right? Like with Team Ten, like he's mm -hmm. got, he's got a whole fucking family living in that mansion, dude. Yeah. 
Crazy. Yeah. I just learned that. And, uh, you know, Team 10's all kids now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, f- I felt like Team 10 was also kind of dependent on his success, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, don't, I think he's in a tough spot. Like, for – I was – that was my first reaction. When you t- told me that, I'm like, damn, Jake's coming for Cody? He's out of shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, he's out of targets. Like, yeah. he's got no one left. Yeah. You know, because at what – I feel like him – that's the dream, you know what I'm saying? Outside of fucking Ethan, everybody, like commentary side of YouTube is like, ooh, I, well, I hope, I hope he comes down here and fucking just spits on my channel a little bit. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, I that's true. That's actually for a good a point. Second. That's a good point. Because before that, he was above that. Yeah. Everybody and their mom, I think that's what it was. Every, everyone would always make a video about him and he's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, and he showed that he gives a fuck, and yeah. that was just like the armor falling off. Yeah, that's true. I think that's where he really fucked up. Yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, you're you're a bitch, actually." Yeah, wow, you went to the haircut show. Yeah, and bo- <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a really good point. That's a good way of looking at it. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, it started. That's how it started to feel for me. I'm like, wow, you drove all that way, and you sit and you stood down there acting crazy, and all that just to go in there like to fumble your words. Bro, what happened to none of that was there? Yeah, none of that bravado, none of that. Yeah, so that's you know. what it. It means the same thing. It's the same thing. He's trying to figure out what the fuck to do, and so he's like, mm-hmm. okay, maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta fight negativity. Maybe that's the thing. Yep. You know, I'm not up here anymore. Kind of back down on earth. So now I gotta like maybe maybe this is gonna be my thing. I'll fight negativity and whatever. Okay, I'll face these people now. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's just is what I was saying about James Charles in the last podcast. Like, uh, Logan, not Logan, Paul, Jake, fuck him, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same yeah. person to me. I mean, he's a he's a young dude, and and he's figuring himself out in front of millions of people. Yeah, that's got to. That's why it pays to be old, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we already know what we are. Exactly, pieces of shit. <laughs> Canadian pieces of shit. <laughs> what? Well, me. <laughs> I am. Don't put me in that category. Son. Where are you from again? I don't. Know, I feel like we kind of have to now. What? I feel like we should tell him. Really? I was going to tell him like this. Show. Yeah, why not? That was actually a blunder on my part. But like, I, I actually like misspoke. I wasn't like revealing anything. Yeah, but we might as well tell him. Okay, well let's do an ad read first, and then let's tell him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. It's, it's summer's coming up. You're, you're, you're looking to go places. Maybe you're even going to come see us on our tour. But do you ever feel like these ticketing websites may get into the event difficult on purpose? Mm-hmm. It's like they're so big they can get away with not caring about the customer experience. So true. Yeah. So what if their site's annoying and doesn't have the events you want? Hello? Status quo? Who cares? Mm-hmm. Uh, but there is a site that cares, and that is- What is it? That, that's SeatGeek, baby. Oh, SeatGeek. Yeah. Um, you know, if you quick you know quick look at uh, SeatGeek in the App Store, it shows over- 50,000 five-star reviews. Mm-hmm. I bet you didn't know that. Mm-hmm. How's that for customer satisfaction, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, all around. They have a better process, okay? SeatGeek pulls together millions of tickets from all over the web. Then they rate them on a scale of 1 to 10 to let you know if you're getting a good deal or not. And finally, SeatGeek displays them on an interactive seat map so you know what it's like when you go into the venue and where you're going to sit. Uh, SeatGeek breaks down the details. You know, green dots mean good deals. Red dots are overpriced. And every purchase is fully guaranteed so you can shop for tickets with confidence, okay? I've used SeatGeek to go to a couple events, the UFC, uh, several times, and um, a Monster Truck Show. So uh, what what was the last time you used SeatGeek? Monster Trucks. Oh, oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, I have the SeatGeek app on my phone. Cody does as well. And it's by far the fastest and easiest way to find tickets. Uh, in fact, if you, right now, for all our listeners, uh, SeatGeek is giving you $10 off your first purchase if you use our promo code. So download the SeatGeek app today. Use the promo code TINYMEAT for $10 off your first purchase. That's promo code TINYMEAT for 10 bucks off your first purchase. We also want to thank Hinge for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Listen, guys, I don't know if you use dating apps um, I used to be on I used to be on dating apps. I used to be on Hinge specifically before I met Kelsey, and um, and let me tell you now that I, I'm in a in a healthy, happy relationship, I'm much happier than when I was, you know, quote unquote, a fuck boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's 
I don't know if I should be insulted that it says that in the fucking copy. I mean, let's be <laughs> they honest. They called dude. me a fuck bee. Let's be. Oh, let's be honest. I, I am a, a fuck bee. You've looked at your, your your old vines. Yeah. No, I know. I, I watched a few. I was like, oh, bro. Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> let's not talk about it. Thing is, I'm off that shit now. Okay. I've deleted Hinge because that's what makes it great. It's the dating app that's designed to be deleted. It's great. There's icebreaker prompts um, that let you show off your personality that are really great. It's like, you know, like, where do you want to travel and stuff like that? It's cool. It like, gets you, to, lets you get to know a person, like, right away. Hinge's award-winning, award-winning algorithm matches you with people you're most compatible with. Let Hinge know how your date went so they can match you with better people in the future. Dates are rated respectful over 99% of the time. Three of four users say they want a second date, which is pretty good odds. Yeah, it's great odds. So, uh, I, you know, there's a lot of fish in the sea. Go fishing. <laughs> I just made that up. That's just a, that's a great slogan. <laughs> it's the fastest growing dating app in the U.S. Guys, uh, hit the app store. Download Hinge. Uh, you won't regret it, okay? Find some love. Okay, okay, okay. So, Cody, Cody <laughs> flubbed a little bit, but it's fine because we were going to say it anyway. Mm-hmm. We can say it this way. Um, <clears throat> so, I was born in T. Dot. Which doesn't which doesn't say anything about what you no, are. No, it doesn't actually at it all. Doesn't. It no. just you just I'm, were born there. Yeah, I'm technically, my parents just boinked there. Yeah. Okay. That's all it is. Okay. They boinked. Um. And yeah. they can yeah they conceived and then they birthed you. Yeah. And how long were they living there? Only a couple years. Hmm, okay. And then um, uh, and then I then we left to the states. Gotcha. Yeah. Then, then there you go. Yeah. Guys, there you so, go. It that's actually um you know, uh man. It's it's pretty crazy cuz I haven't been to Toronto since since it was like I went back when I was 5 after uh the Northridge earthquake. So I lived there for like we went back for like a month or two hmm. while we we're trying to find a new place. It's, it's pretty cool. So these homecoming <clears throat> shows or these shows in Toronto are going to be your homecoming show. Yeah. The Calgary ones are going to be mine. Mm-hmm. Toronto is going to be yours. It's, and and guys, actually, if you're from Toronto, keep your eyes out for a third show announcement. <clears throat> yeah, we done. We we have two shows right now. They both sold out, and so yeah, we're going to probably do a third one. Yeah. So keep your eyes out for the announcement for that. Yeah. Um, and it's, I mean, I've said this before, but when people found out that I was from Toronto, like growing up, it was like, I was called all kinds of shit. I think because of South Park, didn't they, didn't South Park roast Canadians? Yeah. Call them did. like gay or something. Oh, I forget what the fuck it was. Wasn't it in that movie? The movie they did. Yeah. Uh, whatever it was, people, uh, oh, you're from, oh, you were born in Canada. Oh, it's the mouths. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. People, yeah. oh, you were born in Canada. Oh, you were, you're gay. Like you're, it was all white kids saying. Yeah, <laughs> they would call me all kinds of shit. But the most hilarious part is damn near all them kids. When we got into high school and college, they all did a 180 and they became major hockey fans. It was the weirdest shit. Hmm. They like like <laughs> that was their that became their whole personality was liking the Kings. Hmm. I was like, whoa. I mean, I I, you know, I don't know shit about hockey. I'm just like honorary Canadian. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, keep going. No, no, no. Go ahead. I just don't get like being a fan of the Kings. Yeah, yeah. I hear like a lot of people <clears throat> I follow like go, like go to the games all the time. <clears throat> and I'm, I just like... I understand like if you're in... Like growing up in Calgary, it's like cold all the fucking time. Yeah. There's people playing hockey on like frozen ponds and shit like that. People, yeah. people playing street hockey all the time. It's like yeah. part of the culture. It's like the city's pride <clears throat> yeah people wear like people you know flames flags out of their cars and stuff like that but the kings you never who the fuck who the fuck is into hockey here like who the who the fuck like goes from the beach to the to the hockey rink yeah and it's like sits and it's like, yeah it's I think dope. it's a social thing I mean Evan took me to a game yeah. and I had a good time but it wasn't like you know I'm, I'm not like dying to go back you know what I'm saying yeah you know, I, I get what, I, I'm just echoing your point like I feel like when Canadians watch hockey it's like like this is our shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, like some like Scandinavian Viking shit, where it's like this is our game. <laughs> you know yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, no, I, I feel you on that. L, I mean, like, I, on, like basketball, I understand because it's like it's part of LA, like culture, the glamour. Oh, yeah, the, I mean, like the hills, whatever, and it's like basketball is like riches associated with yeah. that and whatever. But hockey's just like a, it's yeah. just like a, you know, to me, it's just like a like a blue collar sport, you know? Yeah. Blue collar sport. Well, I mean, it's like you know, 
I don't know. Like like uh, dipping and like yeah yeah and, yeah yeah and just like yeah. pads and fucking people up and just yeah. like you know I'm just, I don't know yeah I had a I had a homie who was like could play hockey for a long time and like I I had a loose interest mm-hmm. I was like yeah I mean like seems like I I just felt like <laughs> I was trying to figure who I, who I was so I'm like yeah yeah hockey sounds dope and then he like gave me some gear and then like I was like talking to my dad about playing hockey my dad like chuckled he was like uh. <laughs> Let's see how you do on skates first. So, like, he took me to a rink. And first off, I don't know my dad has skills like that. Like, oh, he can skate? Yeah. Damn. I had no idea. Hmm. And, like, we got it on the ice. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And he's dad, doing, he's doing like triple sow cows and shit. Yeah. No, I mean, like, <laughs> pulls up for it. <laughs> he's just like, pulls up for just a beautiful, <laughs> and then just lands on one leg and, and like, <laughs> skates away like this. I'm like, oh, God damn, damn bro. I don't know. You had hips like that, dad. <laughs> he, he fucking yeah he just like he just like but he, he bust down I was, Tati, yeah yeah he buzzed down tatiana and yeah. i was like we went like a few times i was like yeah i'm 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 probably not gonna get to be where i need to be and he was like yeah i know this, this is in toronto no no this is like oh in i see LA. Okay. yeah my dad's like been everywhere he's been in so much crazy shit he like went to russia for like a little bit and I forgot what it was, but they were somewhere in Russia where they were taking a train from one province to another, and you needed a Russian passport to be on that train. And my dad's friend living in Russia, she had a friend that like kind of looked like my dad. My dad's like, oh, just give me your passport. It'll be fine. <laughs> he just goes on there, like just holding it, thinking it'll be cool. And then these dudes start coming down the train and they're checking every single person's like passport okay. and like holding it up to their face. And my dad doesn't fucking know a word of Russian. He's just like, my dad like told me he was sitting there kind of like, oh yeah, this is going to be fucked up. This is going to be fucked up. Damn. And uh, he, like the, the dude like holds the passport and kind of looks at him and he like, this is kind of not really sure. My dad just plays it cool and the guy just folds it, hands it back to him. And my dad's like, I was shitting myself because I found out after. I think he did it just because like he was young and he really understand the consequence. He was like, if if I got caught, I would have been in Russian prison for like a long time, hmm. <laughs> or like some goofy shit like that. Jesus Christ, yeah. that's scary. Yeah, I remember. This is the funniest shit, and this is like the first example of me being a bitch in all of life. He went to Russia, and then it was when I was real young, and he came back. And he, oh yeah, he did that passport shit just after I was born. I was like four years old and he did that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> he could have been locked up for like 10 years and whatever. So um, he comes back and he had like recorded a bunch of video, uh, but there was something fucked up with the, like, like with the VHS tape. So it would play it and it would like warp the footage. So it would kind of like roll. It was something strange. And we watched like an hour of this and I just puked from the camera movement. Like we were just sitting like in our living room and I didn't, like I was like trying to stomach it and like not show any signs and I just like booted. I was, and you were four? I was like four years old. Oh my like, God. And my dad just starts laughing. He's like, oh shit. And my mom too. Like, the, He's like, my footage was that dope? Yeah. <laughs> my dad's like. <laughs> Man, Russia was a movie. movie dog. <laughs> my kid just straight up booted, yo crazy it's like, son it's like um it's like videos of your dad at the strip club yeah like look like, it's like little pumps instagram story but it's your dad just like just like <laughs> like dry humping a stripper and you're just like <laughs> and it's like really that part was kind of sick honestly <laughs> if you're asking me fool russia was a movie, movie dog. dog yo noel <laughs> good to see you homie what's good <laughs> Dad, dad. <laughs> yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> fool, you straight up puked from the movie, fool. <laughs> Can't be my kid, dude. You've been cheating on me, babe, because this kid fucking sucks. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Uh, yeah, you, you brought me back a Russian tank. I thought that shit was the dopest shit ever. Like a real tank? Yeah, in the driveway. Oh, Drop down. Sick. Happy fifth birthday, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like a, some little electronic piece of shit. Yeah, man. So, you know, going back to Toronto, crazy, crazy, crazy. We got to go to, um, 
I guess there's no hockey anymore by that point. But no, my dad's gonna give me cool. the address where we lived for a bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's go TP it. Yeah, let's go TP it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna knock on the let's door. Go egg your child. I'm gonna go knock on the door. Yo, this is my house. Yeah, fool. what the fuck are you doing in here? Get the f- who the fuck do you know here, <laughs> fool? Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house, fool. Yeah, it's, it'll be, it'll be some shit. Uh, what the fuck is Brampton? Brampton? Yeah. It's like a suburb, I think, of is Toronto. It? Word, okay. Like, I think. My, I think my mom said like some of her family stayed there or something. Mm. I don't know. It's pretty close. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about the family thing. <laughs> about what? Them come? Are they going to come some to the Some of them want to like watch the show. Yeah, or... I know. My, my family, I mean, all my family in Calgary is going to come. It's just like, oh. Man, yeah, I don't know. Well, these are like Dude, cousins. Jokes forever. Yeah, these are cousins I haven't seen in like twenty years. Yeah, that's awkward. So, like, you know, what I'm gonna do? You, like, oh, what up, bro? Good to see and you. Like, yeah. you look, you look a lot older. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you ain't fat anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> well, the last time we hung out, we were both really fat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen. <sighs> My family's not that tight, so whatever. Yeah, you know what was weird to me was how how far this Jake Paul shit extended. Yeah, like my whole extended family texted me about it independently. Weird. Actually, like, yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, my, my all the kids in my acting class knew about it. Everyone, like, that's just insane. just from fucking reading like Newsweek and shit like that. Yeah, it's like what? It's just how how is this? How does this have that much reach? Because he I mean, he's a great villain from a journalistic standpoint. Yeah, I guess he's a yeah. great villain. Yeah, every article that every article that was written about there's like three on Mashable and like a couple yeah. on Newsweek. They were all like so anti Jake. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean they're just looking for it, looking for any opportunity to tear this fool down. Yeah, they they need you know whatever. It's got to be exhausting being that guy. Who being the villain? Yeah, getting torn down all the fucking time. Yeah, gets old. It's got to. We should talk about uh, the Tifu shit. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, honestly, I I was kind of. I'm not really tapped in on that. I mean, I'm just like just from Banks's tweets. <laughs> that's our. That's all source. I really want to talk about, bro. You were my fucking. You are my family, dog. People eat off this shit, fool. Yeah, I, man. It's just like I don't know, man. I I I, um, I met him before. He's a really nice guy. Banks. Banks. Yeah. He's just like the most dramatic dude ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like his tweet, like I, I don't know. Like to me, it's like, and and today he, one of his most recent tweets, it was like, people keep telling me to get the fuck off Twitter. Like I'm sorry, I'm so heated and blah blah blah. It's like no, but you sh- you should. Yeah. Just don't, just don't, <laughs> just just don't tweet about it. Hey man, you got a multi million dollar organization on the line. Yeah. Why don't you just yeah. take a break just real quick? Relax. Just relax. Just log Because he was my family. Yeah, log off. He's man. not your family. <laughs> You've known him for like a year. Yeah. <laughs> not your family. So just. He's just a business partner. Family, He's a friend. I get it. He's a friend. He's a good friend. Naked. I get that. You hear me, Banks? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get family. You gotta kiss him on the lips? Yeah, yeah. Kiss him on the lips. Yeah. If he's your family, yeah. kiss him on the lips. Take a bath naked. Yeah. Get in the pool with all the other FaZe brothers, okay? And, and get naked in there. Mm-hmm. Okay? We're gonna take a picture 10 years later. And kiss each other on the lips. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Smack a Rooney. Yeah. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. I love you, Tifu. <laughs> <laughs> You're my big baby bubba. I love you, Tifu. <laughs> You're the best baby bubba ever. I know you'd never sue us, Tifu. Because <laughs> you're my little baby brother. Mwah. Not to carry you. You got to kiss him on the forehead and <laughs> carry him around and have little play days. And... <laughs> and go to Walmart and get a family picture. Yeah, yeah. You got to make a <laughs> vlog with my new baby brother, Tifu. Yeah, Mwah. yeah. The FaZe family vlogs. Yeah. God damn it, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just like, so apparently, apparently, Tifu, so is suing them, right? Right. And for like having an overbearing contract or something like that. Yeah. And F- F- Banks was basically like, um, listen, we've offered to change your contract like multiple times, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, we've only collected 60 grand from you when you've made millions. Here's what we offered you, all this shit. And he's like, yeah, but like my, in the beginning, my contract was super overbearing and I'm just trying to protect other gamers that are coming up from signing these contracts because it's, it's kind of like an industry standard now. It's kind of like, I guess, 
I, I would see like a parallel being the music industry where someone starts popping a little bit and labels sign, make them sign their life away. Yeah. So then two years later when they're really popping, yeah, they, they, all the labels get all the money. Right. right. I think gaming is like similar. Sure. So AZ TV was like, was like, I'm trying to uh, change this and I want to this to be known that like, this is fucked up. That, yeah. That the gaming industry is the same way. Anyways, there was a, there's, his brother DM'd Keemstar, I guess, and said, and said, Tifu wants to start his own organization. That's why he's doing all this. He wants to get out so that he can start his own shit. And so Banks replied and was like, what happened to this, like looking out for the commoner and the, and the, it'd be and your the, own, it'd be your own, oh my God. But to me, I'm like, just fucking, obviously he wants to start his own shit. He could start his own shit and make better contracts. Maybe yeah. that's what he's planning on doing. Yeah. Yeah. But Tifu's like, uh, Irving and Banks is like, yeah, what the fuck happened to whatever? See, this is this is you being two-faced, man. You're hiding behind your team and all this shit. And it's like, just be a friend and, and tweet me, dog. It's like, no, but like, <laughs> nah, this is kind of the way that, yeah. Unfortunately, this is, I mean, I, get, I agree. He should call you. He should give you a call. Still be a friend. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like, yeah. but like, if he wants to make moves right now while he's popping and he wants to, dominate the world with yeah. his own industry with his own organization yeah he's gotta fucking do it man it's like that famous picture um and it's super out of context it's funny people always reference this image of jay-z and dame dash and i forget what the interview is for but dame is like real animated and jay-z's in the back like like just blank face and everyone uses that like that face when you buy a fucking like leave dame dash and like go on to like kill the music industry by yourself um yeah and and jay like comments he's like actually in that moment i wasn't even thinking about anything like i was just like kind of just like zoned out but it just like the timing of it was perfect like Cause, that's because he left right after or what yeah yeah i forget the timeline but he he went on to like you know do his own thing and and be, become who he became yeah and outgrew dame like huge and so that's that's what I think is going on right here is Banks being like, no, what you mean you're going to leave the brand, son? What you mean you're going to try to be bigger than me? And Tifu's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that, actually. Uh -huh. I'm the number one fucking Fortnite streamer. I don't need you guys to tell me I'm cool. That's what I feel like. I kind of feel like he's just a he's just like a like an actual like <sighs> beast. You know, no, you know what is. I mean? Like, I feel like he, there's no there's no other path for him but like being. Yeah. unbelievably successful yeah for some reason I just get the, I, maybe it was the fact that he like moved to LA for a little bit and then like moved back because he like did like wasn't focusing do you hear what his opinion was on that I didn't watch his response no no no, no not that I mean like it was like a it was like a clip, stream clip that was hilarious people were like why don't you live in LA he's like um yeah LA's cool if you want to like party and like kind of like waste time but I, I need to be gaming like that's it it's damn like, he's like I need to be the best like I need to be practicing hmm. so he's like and the internet sucks internet's way better here so hmm. um, yeah it's like that to me that the fact that there is no like the social aspect didn't even matter yeah cause I'm out of here you man I hate I hate the way all this shit changes so quickly though because I know fucking two days from now there's gonna be another video that <laughs> that's gonna make our us bite our tongues uh -huh. comes out as like the worst person on earth I know I wanna, I wanna listen to his response yo what is up guys i'm gonna keep this video really short and to the point first i want to say um all the stuff about the gambling the stunts the drinking i told my lawyer i did not want that in there and he will do exactly just that he will take it out so that is no worries that is out of my way what i really want to talk about is the main point i never want to upset anybody i never wanted to bring that stuff in i never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that this is about me and this contract this contract that I signed when I didn't know any better. I'm an idiot. I should have never signed it in the first place. This three-year contract. <sighs> what is in this contract is so bizarre. It's so fucked. I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. This contract basically allows fans at any point in three years to just fucking take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it. Over 49%, over 79%. These, what is in this contract is insane, and that's not even the worst parts. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Oh, wow, look at this. Right here, Fortnite Competitive, Tifu's Contract, theblast.com. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> right 
on time. Yeah, what does I it say? Get a goddamn summary in this motherfucker. Um, that's bra- this is just came out or what? Uh, okay. <laughs> the contract stakes phase will pay Tifu two thousand per month as a fixed fee, plus all other income, including but not limited to salaries blah, 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 generated in connection with the gamers services whether individually or as part of the team um creator code income is 50 50 uh brand deals 50 50 what okay wait brand deals um featuring the gamer that exist on gamer or company content creation platforms what Twitch and YouTube? So they're taking 50% of his YouTube and Twitch income? Really? Then why the fuck was Banks saying all that shit about Zero? If the deal is brought to the gamer by the company... um, Oh, oh my God. Okay, if he brings a brand deal to the company, so he goes, this person hit me up, I'm going to do this brand deal. They go, cool. They take 50% of that. If they give him a brand deal... As in, hey, G Fuel wants to work with you. They get eighty, he gets twenty. That was that was the that was the the shit that they collected on. Yeah, but they said they didn't collect on any of the other shit. But I think it's more it's principle. Yeah, it's the fact that they can. Yeah, and I and like I think in Tifu's mind, what he's doing is he's like he looked at his bank account and he goes, "Holy shit!" And his lawyer goes, "Yo, you realize your contract? They can take." half of this right now yeah. or 80% of it right now and he goes oh fuck so he's like and he had no idea that that was the case yeah so that was like Pump's first contract yeah and they, they he got out yeah which is crazy but he was 16 he signed his fucking life away I mean what the, what, the, what what else what what other move do you have when you're young and you got no money and no, you, you ha- just want to keep yeah, making have music to. that's you why have yeah to. you have to it was brutal that way. I was actually thinking about that the other day. We could we we've tracked two new tracks with uh, the boy Diamond Pistols. Yep. And yeah, yeah, new music coming out soon, you guys. Um, and I was thinking about that and like how much Christian and Spock both support us in terms of like knowledge, experience, all that shit. And I was just thinking, man, like Lil Nas X's story and Comethazine's story and and all that, like trying to. Like, you hear all these horror stories of, like, a label, Mm -hmm. right? But if you're just a dude making music or a person and you're just trying to pop, it's pretty, like... like, Are you good? Your fucking body is making weird-ass noises. It's just, you know, it's the reflux, baby. It's all (laughs) up in there. a little gremlin inside you right now. It's going... That's that's the devil actually trying to come out of my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Well, we're going to do the first audio-only exorcism. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> the power- <laughs> yeah, I mean, what what the fuck? What else could you do? Like it's such a risky feeling to be like, all right, do I do I take the I mean, label? this is this is why I brought up this tweet. So, um there's this uh tweet that someone sent out the other day. It said how LeBron grew up on welfare, moved over 12 times, sleeping on friends' couch, no ride to school. After all that, he looked a Reebok exec in the eye and turned down a ten million dollar check as a teenager. Sixteen years ago today, he signed for ninety million. Wow! You gotta just know that you're the fucking best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Tifu's having his LeBron moment. Exactly. Well, no, he no, he would have never signed if that That's was true. If yeah. That was the case. Yeah, he's having his pump moment. He's yeah. going, oh shit, I yeah. fucked up. Yeah. That's crazy. Pretty sick man. to get a lawyer and just be like, fucking sue him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting out of this shit. One mm-hmm. way or another, it's only a three-year contract too. But I mean, that's like that's like millions of like he he went from zero to fucking making millions in like six months. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's I barely dabble in Twitch, and it's it's been great for me. So mm-hmm. I can only imagine for him <clears throat> like how at that scale. Expo- yo, bro, yeah. making easily fucking fifty hundred k a month probably. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's a reason for that. Like his skill level is fucking wild you ever like sat and watched him play for like 30 minutes dude's no a, yes yeah yeah he's amazing dude's an artist yeah he's an artist dude <laughs> he's an artist with the drum gun yeah he paints pictures man I love watching the way he moves just incredible mm. I've been I got the new rig dude I'm clapping <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, so tell us about the new box. The new box. You want yeah. to hear about my new box? Yeah, yeah. tell us the specs of I the nine, new box. I seven ninety nine hundred K, bro. Okay, I don't know what the fuck. Shit rips twenty eighty Ti, bro. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Smashes, dude. Sixty four gigs of RAM. What do you know about it? You made a face. What's that face? Someone text. Someone DM'd me. Somebody. Um. Let's uh. Let's have a look. See. Uh. No, it was nothing. It ain't. I'll show you. I'll show you after. Oh, word. Is, is it what I think it is? Yeah, but not not as not good news. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but. Damn it. Damn it. Are are we out? Are we ass out? No. Are we back to square one? No. No. Not at all. He S- just said, "Here's my number." Still a possibility though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> I did this yesterday on stream too. Did what? When I got the info about um, um, the thing we were talking about last night. <laughs> You're just like, oh shit, yeah. I can't say yeah. it, but something crazy. Yeah. yeah, we did get some crazy ass news last night. We can't. Some crazy cannot, ass news. I know we can't we say cannot. it, but I want to say it. I know. It's just going to be, I think it's going to be, um, oh, like I'm, oh, oh, all things considered, I feel like it's going to be an exciting couple months. Like oh, we, got, yeah. we, got, we, got, we finished these two new songs. One of them's already done. And the other it's, one's right it's there. awesome. Yeah. We love it. Other one's right there. Mm-hmm. We got another one that we did. Mm-hmm. Writing new stuff for the shows. Mm-hmm. I think like it's just going to be. I mean. This is, this is why I love just being in LA. Love working. Yeah. I mean. Can, work. And I don't know if. I don't know. I'm going to take a risk. We're working on new elements for the live show mm-hmm. that we're pretty stoked about. Yeah. And um, excited. to. By the way, we should. Pr- so we're doing a test show like a warm-up show when it's june <clears throat> like first week of june first week of june it's We're, next not uh not the next tuesday but the next one after that <laughs> yeah okay two tuesdays from now okay yeah and, and and we're gonna be trying new stuff and uh it'll be like a thing a mix like kind of podcasty slash new material yeah um i was thinking you you tell me you tell me okay we got all that leftover merch what if we just give some of it away yeah I'm fine with that. Like whoever shows up. Five bucks. Five bucks a pop. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just make it cheap. I got so much fucking merch I don't want. I'm not, I don't want to wear my own name anymore. So just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was even thinking from like the, the last tour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You mean this shit at killer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. I mean, bro. Yeah. Yeah. The, the likelihood of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we can talk about that later. But yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. So yeah. we'll we'll keep you guys posted on that cheap ass merch. Um, but yeah, test show coming up, uh, so you get to hear some new shit before we take it out. Um, and where are we at? Are we over? Uh, no, we not an extra quite. time, not quite. Five that's minutes. Fine. Five Just minutes. Sure what the what the fuck else happened this week? I mean, a lot. You know what? I just watched that. I watched two things that I'm I was I'm late to, and I'm finally on with uh, the Dawn Wall. And Free Solo. How crazy is the Dawn Wall, dude? Have you watched Free Solo yet? Not yet, but I, I will. Mother, I will watch that. I know that one. I know. I've heard that one is like just fucking. You can't like you're just like this the whole time. I wouldn't even say that. I think what's more a spectacle is how that dude's brain works. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if you know, like, heard about this, but basically he, like, <clears throat> the amygdala, like in his brain, like has, it's like things that would like stimulate us like mm. like they're showing him like images of like fucking ships sinking and shit like that like in our brain it's like oh fuck in his brain it's like almost no activity hmm. that's like, that's pretty fascinating it is like that to me though like that the reason why like i am not that compelled to watch that movies because that fucking scares me what that concept of him like not registering like fear the same as we do because i just know like one day he's just gonna fucking slip so they, it's yeah. just gonna happen eventually. They talk you know? about that. In the film. You can't fucking climb perfectly for the rest of your life. You can't. No, you you heard the guy. Um, so Tom Caldwell in, in Don Wall, he in that film. So this is like definitely a, a at least a couple years later, right? They're having a candid discussion, and he's like, you know, I've I've had in my lifetime like, you know, thirty, forty like friends slash acquaintances like die from climbing, and I was like, that's like way more than i thought yeah i would think in a in your as a professional climber maybe you know a couple of your friends died Mm -hmm. 30 to 40 that's a crazy ratio of 
Think about that. He's a, he's a pro climber. Climbers you know to climbers who have died. At least one to two a year? Yeah. A factor of that every six months. Yeah. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That, see, see, that's what I mean. Like, for, for that movie is more about, like, this dude's insane. And mm-hmm. he's, obviously, it's an incredible feat that he's doing. Mm-hmm. But it's more about, like, his brain and what drives him yeah. rather than just the Dawn Wall, which to me, which is like utter Purely about the wall. Persever- uh, yeah. Per- uh, perseverance. 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 Yeah. Jesus fucking God. <laughs> Preservation. <laughs> No, just utter like perseverance, utter and, animosity, and utter <laughs> animosity, and harvesting negative thoughts, mm, and, come on, man. and the animos. <laughs> it's to me, it's just like dedication, and these fucking guys spending years and years and years perfecting their goddamn yeah. craft, which he did too. But like, these guys have a rope on, you know, and it's like, yeah. it's like if we fall, whatever. No, but, but we're he, gonna get back up and keep going. But whereas that, this guy falls, oh, he can't over. get back up. There, so. I, I, I won't say too much more. I don't want to spoil it, anything for you. Um, but the thing that still that tripped me out about um, Tom or Caldwell, is that his fucking name, Tommy? How he just like a psychopath mapped El Cap. Like how, so if you, guys, if you haven't seen this shit, basically um, there's this uh, mountain peak in Yosemite. It's called El Capitan. Uh, you might know it from a little thing called uh, Mac OS. <laughs> if you have a MacBook Pro, you know Mac exactly OS. what I'm talking about. Okay, mm-hmm. if you're an iOS developer or perhaps a senior backend developer, Gen- you know, you know if exactly. You're, if you're a little, if you're just a little <laughs> tiny little oh, little bitch boy, little if bitch ass backend if developer, if you're a tiny little terminal boy, little terminal little bitch boy, little yeah, little little console boy, mm. little terminal pay pig, you, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you know what we're talking about. So <laughs> this dude, um, he was like a young climber and he, I forget his exact story, but he just starts like, you know, smashing through climbs and then he gets to El Cap. That's the climber term. It's a climber term. It's I wouldn't expect term. you guys to know it, but yeah. we do. Yeah. El Cap. El Cap. Mm-hmm. So I don't think only like a few people had ever climbed it and he was like, nah. And he just laid, he like made was it like five or six climbs by himself? Mm-hmm. That's fucking crazy. Just like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the top, rappel down and figure out where you can climb. Yeah. That's gotta skew your perception of the mountain too. Like, I mean, he was the first one to do those climbs. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, Everyone, no. and, and the Dawn Wall, you're talking about the Dawn Wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Dawn Wall was always said to be like unclimbable. Mm-hmm. That was a thing. It was this one piece of rock or this one like wall on El Cap that was like basically like there's not enough holds and shit yep. like that so he like mapped spent years mapping figuring out a route up the ma- up the up the Don Wall which basically is just trial and error for years and years and years climbing this fucking thing over and over and over and over again to the point where they have to jump yeah this one part yeah or like go around the long way and it t- took them like months to well I'm not gonna ruin it but the craziest part about that fucking movie was his story of when they went like climbing in like Uzbekistan or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they got kidnapped. Yeah. By like the rebels there. Yeah. And they, he killed the guy. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. shit was, he pushed him off a fucking mountain. Cause to, it was, it to was that go they could time. escape. It was go time. That shit. Well, I was, I was watching that like, what? Yeah. Yeah. If, if the rest of the story is not insane enough, this little just yeah piece of, this little separate story right just plugged right into the middle of that are you killed a dude in Uzbekistan or some shit like this movie is crazy yeah climbing is like such a different thing for him yeah like it, it made me chuckle watching all this I'm like oh yeah dudes who go to climbing gyms like want to be these guys but mm. these fools are like really about it you find climbing like a little bit like nerdy like creepy <laughs> it's almost creepy how in, how invested people get. The, do you know what I mean, though? Like, as soon as it's, someone starts climbing, it's like, do you lose them? Uh, they're super they're culty. Done. Yeah, they're it's, in, a, it's, it's a culty. Cult. Yeah, yeah they just, they're sucked in. Yeah. And now all they give a shit about is climbing. Oh, yeah, man. You know, you could go to the gym, but have you ever climbed before? <laughs> You're like, no, bitch, I don't want to. <laughs> it ain't that deep. I just want to, like, look sexy. They're like, yeah, but it's not a lot of functional strength. I mean, it's not even. You should. Give it's it not a, even that. Like, because I I agree, climbing is 
a gr- it's really fun. Climbing is yeah. a great exercise. But you ever done it with and, your boys <laughs> in the hot sun? No, but it's more about like conquering nature and like being a part of yeah with your and, boys and conquering these faces and yeah. no, it's not a social thing. I don't think. No, no, it's you're conquering this earth with your boys. And yeah. When, you, when, <laughs> okay. when all five of you are at the top with no shirts, yeah. sweaty, mm-hmm. that's the best part. I love grabbing rocks yeah. with my boys. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love gripping rocks. That's, we're going <laughs> to you know, me and the boys are going to go grip rocks later. You want to come through? You're down. <laughs> <laughs> no, climbing can be, I got a homie who's like stellar at climbing, like in a scary way. Mm-hmm. Like he'll just go climbing free solo by himself or he'll go bouldering. Yeah. He'll like call like, oh, sorry, man. Yeah, I was bouldering for like five, six hours. Oh, word? Who, who are you there with? Just me. Yeah, that's that's hey. fucking. What about an arcade, dude? Yeah. You ain't been there in a while. Yeah. What about a. Yeah, you, you know, know there's climbing games that you can play. What about a sandwich? <laughs> you ever try one of those? Those are fucking dope. That's, that's, that's what I mean, though. His climbing seems to like. I feel like there's a there's a threshold where there's just the people who want to wear the shoes and look cool on Instagram, and then there's like the next level dudes that are like, "No, nah, I want to do this shit for real." Like, like this is what truly makes me happy, right? Yeah, and they and like, find that, yeah, and they, which is like a little bit. Oh, it's dude, like, it's creepy to find happiness like that. <laughs> oh, I think like there's definitely like like a serial killer element to how they had like how, like the relationship they have with climbing like it's very like there's nothing else yes 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 that's what it is <laughs> that's what it is i oh. want to know if you guys feel the same way because i I've, like there's just this feeling i get when it uh, when someone like a girl like most beautiful woman on earth could be like i want to take you in this room and do 12 lines of blow and fuck you to death and they go i got this important climb tomorrow yeah <laughs> they go hmm you ever bouldered before? <laughs> yeah, I want to. Oh, I want to grab your boulder right now. Mm. What are go- you? What are you? You're rock hard right now, probably, aren't you? I'll tell you about a hard rock. Yeah, in yeah. Yosemite. <laughs> El Cap. That's El what Cap. we call it. Yeah, Climbers. I just did the dome last year. <laughs> I, did, I did the dome last year. That's the most sus part of that whole shit, fool. Yeah, <laughs> that fool climbs the dome, fool. <laughs> it's two thousand feet. That's the biggest dome. On- <laughs> Yeah, but doesn't that mean he got dome? No, fool. He went on top of the dome. He's oh, crawling up the dome, and then yeah. he sits on the... T- <laughs> <laughs> he sat on that shit, fool. That's sus, dude. You took a seat on the biggest dome on Earth, fool? What are you, man? <laughs> Fucking, I'm gonna go chill with Cola Brandt, dude. Sus. Y'all on some sus shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that dude and is on, uh, on that uh, note oh yeah we, we now gotta, we're done we gotta get back we gotta get up out of here yeah where are we at on extra time we're five no we're five minutes over we're plus five yeah we're plus five all right messi's got to take another lap around the i don't know when the, our podcast became an hour and a half no no it's not it's just yeah, like between the reads it's the ads the, yeah. and the, then yeah, and yeah, no, it's the then and it's the additional time and yeah. it's no but it's it's a know, soccer match it's fun <laughs> it's fun I'm just fucking hungry you know what Same, I'm saying bro. it's this shit dude this so uh intermittent fasting yeah doing it? so like around oh, guys, a, around 11 a.m. Is at, be- wait 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 I got him on a subject I'm about to squeeze another six minutes out of him yeah. go ahead go ahead intermittent fasting go ahead go ahead yeah uh, funny you brought, you brought that up I actually meant to talk about this earlier <laughs> um uh, oh okay here read that oh hell yeah dude so it's it. So I've been like, obviously, some of you do this too. But I, I've been on, a, you know, I've been on this workout grind recently, and it's been three, three, three weeks in a day or something like that. Um, that I've been going to the gym like every single day. I've been intermittent fasting, and it's great. I've lost like six pounds already or something like that, and I'm starting to get muscle back and shit like that. But it's, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know. Um. But um, what the fuck was I even saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, cool. Yeah. But but around eleven a.m. is e- twelve is when I start eating, and around eleven a.m. is when I start becoming like, oh, f- yeah, just looking at the clock every five seconds. Oh, so yeah, bro. Let's let's chat health real quick because actually I do get this question a lot if I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> about my cholesterol. Yeah. So I dropped Dece. It was actually better than I thought. Like I finally got my old numbers, so I'm I'm better, right? But it wasn't like as dramatic as I wanted it to be. 
and granted tour i you've I, been eating a shit ton of red meat there's that no it's just it was mainly more about like i was going way over like when i was lift so, when i was lifting and, and eating crazy i would get like that bottom shelf like um beef patty mm-hmm. like those four beef patties from trader joe's i would throw three of those in a pan and that would be my breakfast that and eggs and rice and like hella butter and oil i would just like that was meal one and I was putting down, you know, 2,500, 3,000 calories a day. It was like shit calories. So that's what spiked it. So now I've just been eating a shit ton of red meat and all that, but I cap it at 100% daily value for cholesterol. Mm. So it's like capping it works because um, it's no cap, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. When I was lifting before, it was no cap. Now yeah, it's cap. Yeah, yeah it's cap. Now, now you're cap. capping. Yeah. So I'm like on a cap lift right now. Uh-huh. So whatever. So that's cool. So now I was supposed to get an MRI this morning. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have like nerve damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if I'm good, I'm going to get back in it and I'm like stoked, but yeah. I woke up too late. So it's been fucking awesome. This had f- just that feeling you get like two weeks in when you're finally fucking in it. Yeah. And all you want to do is go to the gym. Totally. That's all you got to do is get through that fucking first week or two where you're like, lethargic and you, you gotta make yourself go but then after that it's like fucking i look forward to it i feel I'm pumped to go to the fucking gym i love seeing all the people that i see there yeah i love i love seeing the results and shit like that's awesome do you, do you, you just ever, gotta get through that fucking do you thing. feel like lifting sometimes makes you less funny mm. do you ever get that feel it's hard for me to get less funny <laughs> <laughs> i mean not like that like you think about funny shit less I no, find, I think more when I'm at the gym. Do you? I find when I'm lifting, I get all I'm thinking about is food. So oh I'm, no, I don't ever think about funny shit. It's like the shower for me. Word. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't get. I'm. I'm trying to counter figure that part out. Mm. If I got to like meal prep or some other mm-hmm. shit, so it's just out of my hair. That's something I find. So I don't know. I might meal. I might start meal meal prepping. I also fucking. Um, we you know, I, t- I talk about the getting through that first two weeks and stuff like that, but like for me, the now moving forward, the the it's gonna the issue for me is gonna have to like how gonna have to be how I like make it a lifestyle thing, mm-hmm. like how I continue this and like I want to be in shape for like a year yeah. and not go through this fucking. Because yeah. someone someone commented on my shit one time, they're like, "Your weight fluctuates worse than something funny." I forget what it was, yeah. but I'm like, it totally does because I just I'm just mm-hmm. you know I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like. A, the addictive personality or something but it's like i go through these waves where i'm like totally off and then i'm fucking on and i'm I'm sticking to my shit and i get in shape real good for like a month and then i'm off and then whatever i don't know how to fucking you know i'm just plateau and just stay in shape i'm just pissed though like the first time in ever where i'm like solid and like happy with like how i look and shit i trigger all these terrible things like why I fucking shit on my cholesterol and somehow fuck up my neck. Dude, the shooting pains I get are insane. Really? Yeah. Like, it's debilitating. Still? Still, yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Why didn't you skip the MRI then? Um, I just wasn't going to make it in time. Oh, okay. Um, like, the other day I worked out, I tried to, like, get back on it, and I and I, I did, like, a mixed workout. It's, like, some light chest and shoulder stuff, and I worked out... Like, I was afraid to do shoulder work, but I, like, did a little bit, and it was cool... And then, like, two days after, I just have shooting pains, like, down my triceps. Hmm. And I can't sleep. And and it's it's just... Advil doesn't do anything? Fuck no. No, it's, like, worse. No, it's, hmm. it does nothing. So, I got to see what's up. But I'm, like, jealous, dude. I want to get back in it. I might just start doing a little cardio just to feel like I'm... Yeah. Like, yeah. But that's great, man. You should definitely try to stick to it until we go on the road and that all goes out and the then, fucking yeah, window. Yeah, yeah, and then it's fuck it. Because we're in Canada. Poutine, baby, poutine, every baby. day. Bro, when when I see people working out on tour now, I'm like, and hats off, dude. Yeah, I know. That's commitment. Yeah. Even the few times that we did it, like in the last one, it was like later on on stage, I was like, ah, oh, damn, I'm pretty tired. Yeah. You've definitely I used all my energy earlier. Because mm-hmm. you're not going to get the calories you need. It, that probably takes a lot of fucking practice. Yeah. Working out and then performing. Mm-hmm. Like that the w- takes a lot of like performance. Well, even even the way Tom will fucking unload a shitload of, of equipment, do all that, go run, shower, and then st- and then yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So whatever. All right, guys. Uh, TinyMeatTour.com. Tickets. Be on the lookout. TMGPod.com. Shirts. Um, 
Meats, meats, meatspin.com spinning spinning dick. meat yep spinning meat um yo what if we just with reddit.com don't go there don't go there yet yeah, never been on this never either. been on it so i don't even know what it is uh youtube.com slash cody co we should take all our tour income and buy meat spin <laughs> like instead of like investing in something smart we should just take the one bit of fortune we have after like three years and so what'd you guys do with all that money? We bought meat spin. <laughs> We're now the proud owners. It's just our heads on the dick. <laughs> spin me right around, baby, right around. Traffic tanks, yeah. all that revenue. <laughs> yeah, it just <laughs> dies. <laughs> wow, we fucked it up. <laughs> what, what if we do tiny meat spin? <laughs> it's, what, it's what, like a... It's just a small, it's a smaller version of the GIF. The original <laughs> GIF, but it's just smaller. <laughs> and then it's our faces on the nutsack. I like that. All right. All right, guys. See you next week. Peace. Love you.